Yo, Francis Garcia, you won the giveaway from last week. Enjoy your hot comics list. Another week, another list of the hottest comics in the comic book market at the table virtually with my co-host, Jem from Gem Mint Collectibles. How you feeling? What's up, man? I'm feeling great. How are you? Yo, I'm feeling amazing. This list is stellar. There are record breakers. There are surprises. We may even be chatting about the most underrated comic in the comic book market right now. Comic fam, hit the subscribe button and join us on this fun ride. All right, buckle up. At number 10, hit them with Avengers issue 57. Yeah, man, this is the first time we've seen this book on this list. It's Avengers 57, the first appearance of Vision, and the second appearance of Ultron. It's rounding out the list this week because I'll remind the community that just in a month, we're going to see the debut of what Disney Plus has in store for the Marvel MCU at large. Let's take a look at the numbers. We know that the Vision is going to be the prime focus in this series, and the prior record for a 9.8 was broken this week. $20,000 was the original record, and it's up over a grand. A new record at $21,251. But that's not all. We are seeing the highest graded sales since 2014 for a 9.4, and I'll remind everybody that that's back when Avengers Age of Ultron debuted. Do you feel old yet 9.4 hitting a max at $2,800 back then now up for the first time since at $2,500 comic fam this show is going to be about the vision we haven't even talked Scarlet Witch in the last few months. That's right, X-Men number four, which is actually very similar in that Avengers 55 is a double key because we have the first appearance of Vision and second Ultron. X-Men number four is the first Scarlet Witch and second Magneto. Where has that book been? Has it been trending? Hasn't been on the hot list. It may be coming soon. Yeah, you gotta love that classic John Buscema cover. Plus, it pays homage to the first appearance of the Golden Age Vision in the splash page of Marvel Mystery Comics. Let's jump into number nine on the list. It's a book that's been on here plenty of times, Batman Adventures 12, the first comic book appearance of Harley Quinn. But why is it still on the list? That's where it gets interesting. That's right, we got the newsstand copy making its way back on the list after last week's impressive record breaker hitting $4,617. Direct market sales for a 9.8 are $2,500. This matters, comic fam. The newsstands have spread beyond the major Marvel keys. Man, we're seeing this new stand edition selling for an incredible high of $4,700. The direct market edition is going for $2,500. That's where the new stand used to sell for. So it's crazy to see this book jump in value in both versions. That's right. You heard it here. A second record breaker in two weeks validating that this was not a fluke. This was not an outlier. The newsstands are here to stay. And, Jam, you should walk them through this short history of the newsstand rise over this short two months. Yeah, we've been talking about a couple of different examples of newsstand editions over the last few episodes. Amazing Spider-Man 365 being one of them, which saw two four-figure sales in 9.8, while the direct market version hitting $300. We also talked about Amazing Spider-Man 299, which saw a $1,918 sale, which is enormous from its direct market version of $700. And then you got to keep in mind that the $700 book used to be a $400 book. That's right. As those newsstands break record, it brings the other copies along with it. Let's chat about the next one on the list, but not before I tell the community about our giveaway today. You want to comment? like and subscribe we have a set of the frank cho batman 1027 torpedo comics variants going out to one lucky member we'll announce it next week on the video and at number eight we got one of my favorite issues from the gi joe run we have gi joe a real american hero the silent issue number 21 I knew as soon as we started talking about G.I. Joe number one taking off, I knew the silent issue was going to hit this list, and I bet you the final issue is going to creep up somewhere as well. But this is a classic silent issue. There's no dialogue in it whatsoever. It has a classic cover, which has been uh, cover swiped or paid homage to many times in the past. Larry Hama, when he was given the opportunity to take on the writing of this book, he did it out of the necessity that Marvel needed because no one else would take the job because they were demanding the turnaround time be way too quick. And his answer to it was convincing them to not 
have him write the bubbles and to format the story without text. Who would have known that it was this comic book that would be used for inspiration of countless artists and writers in the comic book industry? It changed the game. And that's why I love comic books. It takes these risks and it takes these just chances to make these comics even exist. And throughout that spawns creativity like no other medium can produce. Not only did it change the game as far as the storytelling, but it's also the first appearance of a major character in the G.I. Joe franchise, Storm Shadow. Oh, of course. I mean, you get to see the tattoo reveal. This is major stuff in the run. And we've been chatting for the last couple weeks about the upcoming G.I. Joe franchise getting a movie and possibly incorporating our homie John Cena, who's going to be playing Peacemaker and getting an HBO spinoff, possibly Tom Holland being involved. A lot of reasons to be investing in this Hasbro franchise. We've got an all-time high record sale for a CGC 9.6 at $540, but everybody's really after that elusive 9.8. That's a tough book. The last sale we have was a 9.8 newsstand that sold for $4,000 back in August. As of recording, there is a 9.8 direct market that is going for auction on eBay right now. There are two hours left, and it's at $2,600. Holy smokes, didn't see that coming. And if you recall, we talked about issue one. We just had a CGC 9.8 newsstand edition sell for $1,200, which is up from its previous record of $1,000. Number seven on the list, we're talking about giant size X-Men 1. You know the mutants are coming, and there haven't been any huge record-breaking sales this past week, but there has been a large volume of sales and a lot of strong sales on Comic Link. Earlier this year, the record for a 9.8 was $16,257. We were all shocked to see during the Heritage Platinum Session Comics and Comic Art Signature Auction a 9.8 white pager fetch $19,200. This signified something major. The risk in investing in page quality, that white page risk was established. Will it hold? We only had to wait one week to find out if that 9.8 white page investment was a good deal. And it was paying off because an off-white 9.8 went for $18,075. Now, when comic books break record on the list, it is impressive and it is worth the community's attention. But what is almost more important to realize is when they hit again and when they break again in a short amount of time. This week, we have tied prices that validating the spec over the last few weeks we're seeing the top five prices for virtually every grade in the nine points being met again in seven short days and now we're at number six we're putting the ultimate fallout issue number four what's this the newsstand edition making its way on here the first appearance of miles morales and really the only copy competing for the most Wanted modern age collectible of our time right now next to the 1 in 25 Dejevic variant because we are seeing major purchases of this ghost comic book. Yeah, this book fell off the list for a couple of weeks, but it's back, and rightfully so. I mean, Miles is everywhere. Video games, animated movies, maybe even live-action movies. We don't know what's going on with Spider-Man 3, but I think collectors are thinking there's a chance that Doctor Strange might open some multiverse that leads Miles to the MCU. We saw a huge 9.0 newsstand edition sale on eBay, a best offer of $3,500. Which is nuts because that's how much a 9.6 Dejevic variant goes for. If we continue to see these trends, I would expect a 9.6, possibly even a 9.8 that would cross that $10,000 marker. And honestly, at this point, a 9.8 may hit that 15 to 20K. If we see a 9.8 newsstand copy break those types of numbers, we're likely going to have to look back at all the other modern books that we've been impressed by over the last few months again because they will likely follow all right number five on the list we have another newcomer marvel spotlight five the first appearance of johnny blaze aka the ghost rider you guys know why this book is on the list the new show on hulu hellstrom has been gaining more interest in the character but it's almost like a tease of what's to come we know that the hellstrom series is not tied to the mcu but we're just getting little easter eggs here and there when we see Ghost Rider, Danny Ketch, Johnny Blaze show up in something like Moon Knight or Blade, you're going to want to keep an eye on this book to see what it does. With that said, I think collectors are seeing this a great opportunity to score a very respectable key 
pretty affordably because we're going to have a little bit of time to wait before we see him on the big screen. We saw an 8.0 high that was once $1,650, broken this last week at $1,712, a 6.5 going for $1,000, now selling for $1,035, a 4.5 going for $610, now selling for $715. None of these are giant gains, but... Seeing all of these gains in one week solidifies that this right here is a spec of choice and a great spec of choice because he's an awesome character, diehard fandom, and we know he's coming. Yeah, Ghost Rider has always had this kind of cult following, similar to like a Punisher or Venom or Deadpool, even before Deadpool blew up mainstream. But what's another character that kind of flies under the radar? Oh my goodness, comic fam, we may have at the list at number four the most underrated and undervalued Marvel key right here, right now in 2020. We foreshadowed this, Analyst X foreshadowed this, Key Collector Comics foreshadowed this weeks ago. We have Daredevil issue number one making the list. And you know what's funny? Daredevil 1 has always been an undervalued key. It's always been the most affordable of the blue chip Marvel keys. That's right. I mean, it's the first appearance of Daredevil, but you also have the first appearance of Foggy Nelson, Karen Page. And it's coming in at the list at number four because we are seeing a few very impressive gains in a short amount of time. We'll get to that in a little bit. But come along for a ride here, comic fam. I want to show you some comic books to really spell out the situation that we have here for this very unique and respected key. We're going to chat about some major Marvel books, and I want to talk about the prices, specifically the higher-end 8.0s and the 2.0 low-end to really give you perspective. And we're going to start at the top. Amazing Fantasy Issue 15, first appearance of Spider-Man. For an 8.0, goes for $177,000. For a 2.0, about $15,000. Then you got Fantastic Four number one, the first appearance of Marvel's first family. And an 8.0, that goes for $80,000. In a 2.0, it sells for $9,000. Now we're talking Grey Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, issue number one. Sitting at approximate worth at 8.0, 91,000 and 9,200 for a 2.0. Journey into Mystery 83, the first appearance of the Mighty Thor. That sells for $31,200 in an 8.0 and 3,400 in a 2.0. X-Men number one, the first appearance of the mutants, the first appearance of one of my all-time favorite villains, Magneto, sits at approximately $30,000 in 8.0 and $4,000 for a 2.0. And I even think that's a little low, but buckle up because we have some more comics to talk about. What about Tony Stark? The first appearance of Iron Man in Tales of Suspense 39. That sells for about $27,000 in an 8.0 and $3,000 in a 2.0. And now we're at Daredevil. And we do have some records to break, but let's chat about where it sits in comparison to its other surrounding keys in the Marvel Universe. We have an 8.0. And I'll remind you, we just said at the low end, 27,000 for an 8.0 Tales of Suspense 39. Daredevil 1 hitting $6,600. A low $1,000 for a 2.0. And it's not like there's an overabundance of graded copies on the CGC census. And this week, we're actually seeing some all-time highs. 7.0s, which once sold for $4,780, are up to near $5,000 at $4,988. A 5.5 twice this week broke records, which once were $2,663, now selling for both $3,000 and $3,219. We have a 4.5 up to 2300 up from 2150 and a 3.0 that has just reached 1750 up from $1700. Now, this isn't just about highlighting a undervalued key cuz we know that that's the case. I want to remind the community that Daredevil returns to Marvel and is available for the MCU in 2021 in just over 60 days. Get to hunting comic fam. Now at the list at number three, we got Hero Trade number one, the most impressive independent comic to come out from a publishing company that's not even making comics yet. This is the first appearance of Captain Fab and the first appearance of the Tankers. There is an estimated print run of just 250 copies, which I found odd because we've had some high profile people <laughs> caught reading this book. 
That's right, Jim. I was shocked to see David Desmalchian. You're going to know him from Ant-Man. He was in the Dark Knight movies. And he's playing Polka Dot Man in Suicide Squad 2. This dude's like doing a tweet reading Hero Trade. And he's so pumped that he got himself a copy. And I hope they realize how valuable that book is because looking at recent sales, we have an all-time record high for this book with a $1,195 sale on eBay. We also saw two 9.8 record breakers hit $17.50 this week in the private market. And Comic Fam, if you were impressed by that actor collecting Hero Trade and publicly showcasing it on his Twitter, well, you're going to be even more surprised to hear that James Gunn, yes, the director of Suicide Squad 2, was seen in his story this week with Hero Trade 1. This comic has broken the mainstream. I have never seen an independent comic come out with this type of hype. Tom, do you think that the copy that sold on eBay could be the James Gunn copy? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Hopefully he, he knows some people. You know, he's pretty big up there, but who knows? Maybe they're collectors because they were after him. And hearing that David was excited that he grabbed a copy, he knows that this thing is valuable. All right, guys, number two on the list, we got some turtle power. Raphael, number one, the first micro series from TMNT, the first appearance of Casey Jones. I got my Donnie shirt on, and it made the list at number two because it's had some record-breaking sales, one in the public sector and one privately. Let's take a look at what it's done. We had a 9.6 with an impressive record breaker of $1,200, which is up significantly from its previous record of 780 Tom, what did we get on the private market here? Use that code TOM101 to keep up with the comic book market and unlock a free one-week subscription of the best comic book app around. They keep track of private sales data. There are dealers across the country that helps provide information to the community so that you can be up on your comics. And we have a 9.6 private sale breaking $2,000 this week. And we've also seen 9.4 copies really move this week. At the top of the month, this book was going for $685. Then we saw three separate sales this week alone. A $1,000 sale, a $1,010 sale, and a $1,200 sale. Awesome book, too. It's well-deserved. It's oversized. It goes with the first four issues of the Mirage run. It's almost like you really can't not have the Raphael one if you're collecting Mirage TMNT. Comic fam, hit the subscribe button, slap the like button, get a chance to win some books. And let me tell you about number one on the list because for the fourth week in a row, we have ASM, Amazing Spider-Man 300, the first appearance of Venom in full, the direct market edition, making its way at number one. It may surprise the community to know that this is the most graded comic book in CGC history. That's right. And that's not stopping collectors from putting their money, throwing their money down on this key comic book. We know that 9.8s have been approaching the $5,000 marker for that direct market edition. We're reporting on a couple of 9.4s this week that are breaking the $1,000 marker for the first time ever. Hit him with the newsstands. We got to talk about the newsstand editions. The CGC 9.6 ended at $2,850 on eBay this week, which is almost $1,000 higher than its previous record of $1,900. A 9.2 newsstand edition hit $950, which is up from where it was previously at just $700, with a 9.0 newsstand edition ending even higher at $1,050. That just lets us know that collectors are clamoring and trying to grab whatever they can and whatever Great. Even 7.5s, mid-grade copies are hitting premiums of $525, near $100 up than what they once were. Newsstands are definitely here to stay, but I definitely didn't see them extending past the 9.8. This is comic book history right here, Jim. Yeah, that's a good point. The newsstand editions have always been coveted for the 9.8s, but it seems like this is trickling down to lower grades. We want to know your thoughts, comic fam, in the comment section below. And... As always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Oh, we got other videos here for you to check out. Take a look at them. Peep them with your eyes. <laughs>